following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not in any way reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. Hi everyone, Ian here. Today is the 10th of July 2020, and I cannot say good day to all of you because today, two things happened. One, a church burned down, and two, a broadcast network was denied their franchise renewal. Normally, I wanted to slide these off as I'm currently on a YouTube retreat, but I think this cannot wait. It is too important that my prerogative of exception has to be applied. First, the, the church in question. Santo Nino de Pandacan is an old church which houses the famous image of the infant Jesus made out of dark wood. I just hope that the image can be salvaged because by the time of this writing and this recording, it is not yet found. In a more consoling note, the Blessed Sacrament in that church, the real presence of the Santo Nino, survived the fire. Thanks be to God. But I just can't help but think about this matter. Not only because I am a Catholic and anything bad that happens in our places of worship is heartbreaking enough, but also it is because of the fact that I was baptized in that church. Yes, the pain is very personal. It seems that I would no longer behold the beauty of its interior as I have not yet set foot there A. to get an updated copy of my baptismal certificate and B. to gaze the childlike image of God who for our sins became man. I just hope that as repairs commence sooner than later, the church would not be recognized. And one more thing before I move on, those who are jubilant of the burning of the church are making fools out of themselves. And now we delve into another matter. ABS-CBN was denied of its broadcasting franchise at the House of Representatives. I have said this in this channel that while their moral and ethical compasses should be fixed, it does not mean that the Kapamilya Network should be snuffed out of the airwaves in the very first place. I highly bet that something more than the curtailing of press freedom or more sinister than outright criticism of the network's ex existence is at play here. But while speculations of powers behind the seats and prospective foreign media players are abuzz at this point, I will not focus on them in the meantime, but watch whatever spaces are left in the airwaves because this will be absolutely nasty. In my opinion, it is Jimmy Bondock who is to blame for all this heap of turds. If he have not said his piece about ABS-CBN, it wouldn't get as worse as it is right now. So much for schadenfreude. Now to the general public who rejoice in this matter, while I understand the need to make media institutions accountable with their content and journalism, allow me to ask one question. What if I tell you that there are speculations that certain exclusive local groups and foreign media entities would like to take over ABS-CBN's free-to-air television and radio frequencies? Do you think they are a better alternative to ABS-CBN to answer myself so that the ball starts rolling. Only time will tell. I would like to end this video on the two things I've read in the wake of this fatal decision for the lack of a better term. The first came from an avid supporter of the Kapamilya Network's greatest broadcasting rival, GMA. He said, This government 
will be remembered as a bully empowered by popular and troll enhanced support and operating on flimsy legal grounds. Another, and I'll leave you with this, is one from my personal contacts who happened to be a journalist, shared the following in Tagalog, which I will translate for the sake of those who can't understand it. The next time you say, I don't watch the news because its content is pure negativity so they can gain high ratings and increased profits, think twice of what you will say because you will eventually eat them. In what's happening now, you will live in a world where there will be fewer news filters, thus the increase on fake news. You will live in a world where there will be fewer people filtering corruption and bad practices. You will be content to listen to what you want to hear or solely on the good things instead of the truth. Sure, just go on. But little will you notice you'll end up jobless or out of business because there is no more freedom to do what you want to do. With all that said, this is Ian reminding you that at all times, now more than ever, be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, and see you next time. Bye guys.